On our last visit to a hotel, Jessica and I managed to save ourselves in the nick of time. Then, I proposed to her. And we're back into it! Yuri gives us here. Hello everyone. We're gonna be playing Haunted Hotel A Pass Redeemed. This is from the back catalog. And uh, it's number 20. And we are playing live with all of the beautiful people watching on Twitch and on YouTube. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. Uh yeah, I guess we're gonna have a wedding. Yay! Let's play. Casual, and that sounds nice to me. Very nice. Monomo, hello there. I see you on Twitch. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome on in. I'm glad we'll have our wedding party in this hotel. I like it here. It's a shame we have to leave tomorrow. We can't change our plans now, but we'll definitely come back here. So wait, wait, wait. So, are they married yet, or they're not married yet? I I know they were engaged. I kind of lost the sense of the time on there. You caught the flowers at your aunt's wedding. Nice. Do we do garter belt still? I remember catching the garter belt. Is that a thing? <laughs> or actually, I think was it the men were wearing a garter belt? Oh yeah, because that's because they were wearing kilts. Never mind. Uh, let's get into it. We're gonna speak to the stranger. Hello, stranger. Good afternoon. I'm Happen, the local gardener. Hello, I'm James, and this is Jessica, my fiance. I see. Okay. Day of the wedding. Got it. We're getting married today. Yay! I'm sure it's gonna be lovely. Some nice, beautiful blue skies. Nothing ominous about this place. Oh, congratulations. I'm actually helping with the wedding preparations. So, the red-haired girl is your bridesmaid? What red-haired girl? You must be talking about my cousin, Rachel. Ah. She arrived before us. Nice. You know, I dabble in the art of palm reading. <laughs> no, don't... Okay, let's just be like a lesson. Don't do any of this like pseudoscience stuff on the day of your wedding, okay? Don't like read the bones of dead animals or palms or Ouija boards or I don't know, zodiac signs, just don't. Would you like to know what's waiting for you in your future? Nope, I just want the bill. Yes, I'd like that. Do you mind, James? This is going to go over swimmingly, I can tell. I like everything involving the unexplained and paranormal. <laughs> and especially on my wedding day. Hook me up, bro. When you see a cross on the building, a cloud covering the moon, and a glare disappear on the window, your wedding will be under threat. Interesting. Where's the cloud? Oh. You'll see a black raven and a cat with a white muzzle. A ghost will fly out of the round window. That's when events that could prove fatal will begin. <laughs> Just the worst palm reading ever. Craven? Where are you? Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? What's with the face? Why don't we see his, like, facial bones? What if I want to get married on Halloween? Go for it. Cat B2, hi, how are you doing? Millie's in the house. Nothing says romance. It's a ghost haunting my wedding, right? Exactly. Don't play with the supernatural at your wedding. That's just a small little life tip. Life hack. 
Okay, where is this freaking raven? Oh, here it is. Wow. Above the signpost, a bird will rise into the sky. A gust of wind will carry away an umbrella, and a magic flower will bloom. The magic clock will help you change your destiny when the time comes. Why couldn't he have just said, everyone's going to enjoy the food and you're going to get a lot of money. The end. That's what you want to hear, right? Or is this romantic to hear about all the horrible things that are going to happen? Yay! My energy level's at 15%. We can jack that up to 150. They say until death do us part. Yeah. Ghosts inviting themselves to the weddings. That's always good, right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. And boom, we now have our first omen. Jinxing the ceremony like a boss. Oh my, I wish I hadn't offered to look into your future. I mean, did he charge us? That's kind of what I want to know. Was it a free reading? Let's play with ghosts on our wedding day. Yay! Is there supposed to be an eclipse today? Wouldn't you know that? I feel like you'd know that. That's kind of random and... Well, not random. They're actually well known when they're going to happen, right? It does seem that way. Okay, so we're five minutes into this. Can't we change anything? If I could turn back time, we wouldn't have got a palm reading. We'd better complete the wedding preparations before sunset. I can help you get ready for the wedding so everything is done in time. The magic clock will help you change your destiny if you come up against any trouble. There are a lot of ants in this area. This might come in handy. <laughs> wow, look at that. Lucky us, we have an ant spray. Okay, there's a spooky ghost. Their faces are creepy. Yeah, that's just adding to the whole ambiance. All right, folks, we are collecting 20 puzzle pieces. Don't be shy. Shout them out when you spot them so we can collect it all. No, the eclipse looks gorgeous. I mean, I, I think there's nothing wrong with that in, by itself, right? That'd actually be kind of cool to have a ceremony. Oh, my goodness, look at all those ants. Oh, the statue seems fixated on something. Glue? All right, we got some ants. Ants in my pants. Power of my spray repels you. What is this? <laughs> what is this? The power of my spray repels you. What is that? That's writers being cute. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the Jane J wedding. Kindly join us at the wedding of James and Jessica. Monday, August 17th at 5 p.m. Hotel Del Pasado. James and Jessica have overcome a lot to be together. I'm sure they're meant for each other. Yeah, foreshadowing coming in hot here. James is getting married. I don't know if he got married, if you know what I mean. We'll have to see how that turns out. Actually, we know he's married, because we've seen it in the recent game. Well, he, we saw it in uh, frickin' uh, Detectives United, right? Where Jessica's like, uh, uh, James, don't go to work. Right? Remember? So we know that the wedding happens. Spoiler alert! Who gets married on a Monday? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure uh, it's all good. People that want to save money. Eh, that's a fairly good point. If I want to make a sculpture, I need a hammer and a chisel. Well, I happen to have both of those. We are in luck. Oh. 
Like this is like old school Alpha Games game engine. This is I love this game engine. You don't the newer games don't use this engine. I love this engine. Select the matching symbols to create matching symbols you say. Let's do it. Here we go. Yay! That was a great voice impression, was it? I'll have to trust you on that. Knock, knock, who's there? Orange, orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say orange? Oh wait, that's not how that joke works. Uh, let's see here. Where does, does this go here? Dove statue? Yes, it does. Yay. And people who want to have a small number of guests have weddings on a Monday? Fair enough. Fair enough. My parents were my parents were married at City Hall. So it was basically my parents and then they had the two witnesses. That's it. Look what I found. It might help open the door. Thank you. Couldn't you have put it over there and just open the door? Like what is your what is this guy's job? I feel like we should know his job. So we have bone and we have pliers. And over here we need to figure this out. We can't handle this, so we're gonna have to figure out how to handle that. And over here, uh, I guess it's just because it's the note here. We're able to get back here. What month did your parents get married? Oh, good goodness gracious. I know they are married on the 13th. When were they married? I think they've had their anniversary already this year. I'm really bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know they were married on the 13th. April 13th. There we go. Whew. <laughs> Save that one. Sierra in the house. James, I already gave them our booking information. You should have your passport. I mean, Jessica's a looker. There's no doubt about it. Jessica is a looker. Yeah, I know. I barely did it, though, Steph. Barely. My parents' wedding was old school. My grandma invited so many people and my mom didn't know them. <laughs> that's classic, right? Is that morphing? I feel like that's morphing. It is, but apparently we don't care. But we care about that. She reminds me of an actress. She is quite gorgeous. There's no doubt about it. Other than her being a little needy, eh, I guess it's the honeymoon phase, I guess. This is Haunted Hotel Sierra. We're going back a little bit. This is Haunted Hotel 20. Okay. Uh, does that zipper pull? Ah, here we go. Victoria Spa Hotel. Travel back in time and relax like real Victoria era aristocrats. Your time is our specialty. That's a weird way to say. That, that just seems creepy to me. This for sure is from our last trip. We really lost track of time there. Ha 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 ha. Funny, funny. A little punny, actually. We literally have a table in our back pocket. <laughs> what are we doing with a table? Uh, I guess, do we put it here? Yes, we do. Look, footprints and everything. Bad graphic design? You think so? Snip, snip, I have the tool. You don't like that wedding invitation? You do a better job? Cool, cool. Or actually just the flyer in general you're commenting on. Huh. Hand over my passport. Is this your first visit to our hotel? Uh, I actually have no idea. Pretty sure it's our first visit. What's the reason for your visit? To have a wedding. Are any of your acquaintances at the hotel now? My cuz, my kissing cousin. Wait, that came out wrong. When do you plan on leaving? I don't know, actually. Did we talk about, like, the plan here? 
I'm... It's got... I mean, a month? That, that seems weird. It's got to be tomorrow evening, right? Here's your room key. Get some rest. And happy wedding day. Nice. I would design my own wedding invites. There you go. Put yourself to work. The words are hard to read on that flyer. Yeah, they were. My best friend had her wedding Star Wars theme. She dresses Padme. Nice. 